What is up guys, once again welcome back to Finding Fishes. Today, I have an interesting fish, belonging to the American Cichlid community, Jack Dempsey. Beautiful fish indeed. Let's take a look at some of the most suitable tank mates for them. Jack Dempsey's are large cichlids found throughout Mexico and down into Central America. They get their name from the legendary boxer, Jack Dempsey, known for his aggressive, heavy-hitting fighting style. That being said, Jack Dempsey's have a slightly overblown reputation in the aquarium community. They are large, territorial, and vicious when breeding. These traits apply to the majority of large Central and South American cichlids. Still, we need to choose tank mates that can withstand or match the occasional nipper chase when finding tank mates for a Jack Dempsey. First up on the list. The Jaguar cichlid is the largest of the Central American cichlids and a top predator in its home region. While they can reach two feet in the wild, they don't grow nearly as large when kept in aquaria. You should be careful when keeping jaguar cichlids with Jack Dempsey's because jaguars are even more aggressive. Male jaguars are also 50% larger than the largest Dempsey and have seriously large teeth that they use to snag fast-moving prey items. So long as your aquarium is 180 gallons or above, the two species do well together and are a great start to a Central American community tank. Next up. Green Terrors and Jack Dempsey's are pretty evenly matched in terms of temperament and size. When kept together you can expect both species to flare their gills in standoffs now and again, but will rarely do lasting harm unless the aquarium is too small for both species to secure territories. Like Jack Dempsey's they also prefer neutral to alkaline water conditions and a variety of live, prepared, and thawed meaty foods for good color and health. Next up. Midas cichlids are Central American natives found in lakes throughout Costa Rica and Nicaragua. Similar in length and personality to Jack Dempsey's, Midas cichlids are even more thick-bodied, with a square, brick-like build and a thick nutshell hump in mature males. While territorial, Midas cichlids are on the mild side for the fish of the region. They love to dig and flare their fins in threat displays, but have small mouths relative to their size. Midas cichlids are also very owner-conscious and are said to recognize their keepers over other people, who may instead get threat displays or even bites. Next on list is. Firemouth cichlids are a great choice for aquarists who have smaller tanks and can't make room for several tank busters. They get their name from their robin red breasts that are particularly vivid in males. Firemouths also have especially large scarlet gill arches they flare in typical cichlid fashion when jousting with one another or other cichlids. While smaller than Jack Dempsey's they will do fine so long as the tank is at least 55 gallons in size. This way the firemouths will have room to respect the Jack Dempsey's territory. Next on list is. Convict cichlids are one of the most popular aquarium fish in the world. They get their name from their subtle yet attractive vertical stripes and gray to white background coloration. While quite a bit smaller than Jack Dempsey's, convict cichlids pack a lot of feisty personality in a smaller package. While too small to harm a Jack Dempsey, they are ferocious parents and can easily kill smaller fish when breeding in a cramped tank. Next up. Common pleco are some of the most popular fish in the hobby, though given their final adult size they shouldn't be. However their appetite for algae makes them indispensable for many hobbyists. And their size and armored flanks make them a good match for Jack Dempsey's. While they tend to bumble around on the bottom with no respect for territorial cichlid boundaries, they will weather the occasional nip or chase with no lasting harm. Next up. Silver dollars are popular dither fish for aquarists with extremely large aquariums because they school in the hundreds in nature. Their sides are covered in mirror-like tiny scales that catch light in a mesmerizing way. Combined with their round shape it's easy to see how they get their name. Silver dollars aren't as toothy as either piranhas or pacu, but still have strong teeth and love to eat anything vegetarian. All of your plants will be on the menu for a group of silver dollars, even tough bitter species like anubias. Next up. Tinfoil barbs grow as long as a Jack Dempsey but are relatively thin. They also prefer being kept in schools, making them ideal for large aquariums. Like scaled-up tiger barbs, tinfoils are very fast, boldly swim in the midwater zone, and happily eat any prepared or fresh foods offered up. 
Thanks to their schooling nature, fast swim speed, and large size, tinfoil barbs will avoid or weather aggression from most cichlids, but should not be confined in tanks where they are forced into a Jack Dempsey's territory continually. That's it for today guys, hope you really enjoyed the video, keep supporting us and stay tuned for more such interesting videos. Finding fishes remember the name.